But the heart of the book is uh, 12 challenges that we have heard our clients ask about many times. And our hope is someone will pick the book up and think, oh, this one is exactly what I'm dealing with now. Maybe I could take a design approach to solve this challenge. <coughs> So we have four around customers, four around business, and four around organization. This is just from uh, some of our customer insights. We know that on our website, the tools page is one of the most popular pages. Mm -hmm. So we thought, all right, then we need to get that in there as well. One I'd like to share with you today is number 11, uh, which is a question, and, and we're actually, in the last 18 months, we've seen more and more and more of this particular question. How can we become a customer-centric organization? We struggle with systems and processes, we're product-oriented, uh, we can't... Um, or, or as one person told us, our, our organization is so complex that the only one who can see totality is the customer. <laughs> Everyone's done in their silos. And so here's some meat for our discussion later. Some of the key insights around this challenge that we've found, um, it's the question about senior management buy-in. Yes, it's true. If the CEO is seriously invested in customer orientation, uh, it will make a massive difference uh, rather than if she's not. It's in the operations. So don't do something on the outside of that, get in there, uh, keep consultants out as much as you possibly can. Uh, don't make huge uh, change budgets. Make all the silos of the organization pay for customer orientation themselves because it increases the feeling of risk and the need for success. So don't make it special. And then there's a big question. What's the business case for customer centricity? Uh, We've asked this and we've been asked this. Our conclusion is don't waste your time on it. Make a high level argument for why it's smart and combine it with a very strong human story because that will get the decision makers on board. And for those of you who are designers, don't forget that the power of design for making those kinds of directions is much stronger than we actually think. They were a 160-year-old, very traditional insurance company. Um, old-fashioned systems and old-fashioned culture. Uh, but at some point, they realized the only way for a big major actor like us to survive in the market is to be best in terms of customer experience. But the way they went about it was interesting because they didn't just look at customer satisfaction, they, they were thinking, how can we move beyond satisfaction and really talk about valuable relationships? And they did it with surgical precision. So here's where it started. The CEO uh, was uh, unusually customer-minded for being a financial CEO. He came from FMCG before. So he knew about branding. And he set a strategic direction, we shall be the most customer-oriented company in the Nordic insurance market. 